Mackey here. It's the Pat and JT Podcast. Pat and JT Podcast. Okay, so two back-to-back episodes of Paranormal Dads. Exactly, picking up right where we left off. One of yeah. my favorite like weird locations we discussed was the case of phantom staircases just present in the woods. So, what? yeah, Excuse I know, me, right? Yeah, it's all quiet now. Look at like that. going up the side of a hill or like I'm a like, house I'm fell down? Like, all of a sudden, I didn't expect that. I didn't see that coming. Okay, so you just, yeah, like like there was a house there at some time, maybe? So some of them are that. Like, so you'll go out into the forest, and it might have been an old, like, prairie-style home or something, and the, the home broke down, but the stairs, for some reason, didn't. Um, but there are cases of actual fully built staircases that, that are just in the middle of nowhere, for like, no reason, nothing within stopped. like uh, nothing within like twenty miles, and and like l- actually in the middle of nowhere, some are wood, some are concrete, some are stone. But it's like they go up and then they. Are leave there any of those around here? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I want to find them. <laughs> I want to yeah. find them, right? But I, but like park rangers have gone on yeah. record saying that these things do exist, and they also say don't go near them. Well, it's like you Which, get to wonder: is it like is it like a portal? Is it like a you know? Right. But do you, do you literally have to build stairs to reach the portal? I mean, can it come down six feet? Right, it's a but, freaking portal. <laughs> it's a portal. Right. Right? Get, 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 help me out. It's yeah. a freaking portal. Man. It's yeah. a portal. Lower portal. your portal. I think there's a in in South America. <laughs> there was a, a a story about a portal that was in a wall that had been built. It was yeah. it was man made, and there was a cutout that looked like a doorway, and they said that they believed that opened. That that was the portal because this this was built about the same time as the uh, pyramids in Egypt. Yeah. Okay. And that's how they made the connection between the two. And the Jeez. same thing had been found in Egypt as well. That supposedly there was some kind of a wormhole or something. Takes you right to it. the Great Pyramid, huh? right? Yeah. You're and just they're... walking along in Brazil, and boom, and you're zoom, in Egypt. There you're there. <laughs> you know, yeah. nice. I don't I don't know, but it's that's creepy. that's crazy. Yeah. Do they have any any thoughts on what they're what they think they are? I mean, so there's everything. This is where it gets weird because I'm I'm kind of a fan of the whole Matrix theory. That like we're, that we're all living in a giant program. So yes. either a, <laughs> I'm good if, at that. Yeah, <laughs> is, is, I, I, me too. If this is a giant simulation, then mm-hmm. you know, and I hate to be this kind of guy to say this, but if you ever grew up or played video games at all, you'll know. In, in a lot of games that tend to be open world, like the Grand Theft Auto series or whatever, they'll put weird things in the game just because the guys are bored and they want to just throw weird stuff in there. Right. And, and I almost wonder on some level, like if this reality is a giant simulation, why not? Why, why not, not just throw a staircase in the middle of the forest True. and let the let the you never know if anybody's going to ever find it. Right. It's just there. Yeah. yeah. And you and you get five golden coins, exactly. you know, ding, in the ding, afterlife. Ding, 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 ding. Exactly. Here's the guy who found the staircase on level nine. <laughs> or, or should the guy who placed the staircase get the coins? Because exactly. somebody found it. Yeah. Oh, exactly. yeah. 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 That's great. That's well, funny. You're saying in Grand Theft Auto, there's actually, they put a Bigfoot in the woods or something. Yeah. Like you can find a Bigfoot. Yeah. In if you get to a something. certain level, you can actually. Go, Those little go Easter looking eggs after are kind of cool, though, because it's fun when you find things like that, yeah. and you realize if there's one, there's got to be more. There's others. Yeah, yeah. and start yeah. looking for them. But that's kind of an interesting. That's why we like we're in the show. Matrix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too far down that one. You'll start right? to you'll start to well, get sad. That could explain a lot of things, like Bigfoot. Oh yeah. Being here and having that, and and nobody ever having that definitive evidence that Bigfoot's there. But then we know right. that not that long ago they just recently came across another tribe of people. Yeah. yeah. That nobody yeah. knew were there. Yeah. 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 It and could they, it could explain people going missing and never never hearing from them again, never seeing them, no evidence. They're just gone. Yeah, mm-hmm. we we actually covered a case. I think it was a uh, creepy park ranger stories, yep. which is where we came across Ooh, this mysterious staircase phenomena. But speaking of people just poof vanishing, Pat, there was a park ranger story of this girl who climbed a tree. This is at a, in some national Yosemite, park. Yosemite, I believe. Yosemite. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. She climbed this big tree, went up, I don't know, 100-foot tall tree. Her family, like four or five family members are below. They watch her climb the tree. She doesn't come down. They start hollering at her. They're like, what are you doing? Come on down. They never find her. She disappeared in the tree. What? They sent people. <laughs> yeah, they never disappeared. found her. Talk about portals. Yeah. 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 Might have been ne- one. It was never found. Mystery never got solved. So... And That's they climb. I'm sure they climbed the tree. To yeah, look they for. climbed yeah. all the way to the top. <laughs> I mean, come on. They get all the way home. Like, did you, cl- Dale? Did you climb the tree? I didn't. I thought you climbed the tree. I thought you climbed the tree. I mean, my God, if she's up there, she'd come I down. I mean, right? do they think maybe like a big bird took her away, like an eagle or something? I mean, you'd hear that, right? <laughs> I mean, that, that'd be the only thing that logically would make exactly. sense, oh or fall down inside the the tree. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if it's oh, some hollow. I've seen I've seen stories like that where somebody's fallen into a tree. I think this was they had eye they had eye line on her. They could see her, and then in one swoop, it was like she was. There and then they switch angles and she was just gone. Wow, it wasn't that's like they saw up. her fall. They didn't, yeah. yeah. That's cr- okay. So you just made me think of something. Have you ever heard of an eagle owl? 
What's an eagle oh, owl? Oh, I've seen those recently. They those look like a are, person in yeah. a costume. Oh, it's it, their it face like a, is creepy. Um, it looks like a Jim Henson Muppet, dude. It, <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're big and they have like a wingspan yeah. like eight feet. This isn't Big Bird. It's not gonna. That's creepy. Wow. That's a real owl. Yeah. Is there one by the by a person? That's what I want to find. There was a picture I saw of one of them standing next to a person, and it was like. Uh, there's a harpy owl too. That's the one. I think that's, that's the same thing, isn't it, it? It might be. I think the eagle and harpy are. No, I think they're different. Harpy owl. The harpy the owl looks like it has owl. like ears almost. It's like ew. Let yeah, me look crazy. at. Let me pull up the <laughs> Have you guys owl. seen that giant chicken just, thing that looks like the size of a person and it just walks around? <laughs> no. Have you guys seen that? <laughs> no. no. Oh my god. With what? everybody's what? wallets, because I would throw mine. <laughs> <Yeah>. out. What? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> just go away. Leave ah. it alone. Here's some pictures of it with a pe- with people. Look at how big that, that bird is. That's a big bird. So you, whatever it's pictures like you guys find, you got to send me the link so I can put them on Facebook. Because I get the link. Yeah, that's messed up. That's, <laughs> I'm that's just an saying, owl. It do, it's crazy. They don't. It does look like a person in a costume. That thing would right. eat all your Tootsie Pops. <laughs> <laughs> Three <That> my ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> my hand. Stick and everything gone. <laughs> your, your, your arm's missing. <laughs> took my arm off too. That's funny though. I don't know what made me think, because I saw this in an article just this week of all things. You yeah. guys, there's the picture. This is, hold on, let me get it. Oh, come that. on. Open up. That that's, is crazy. That's very creepy. Yeah, that is that one. the one? It looks like a person. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. It looks it's like, like a insane. skeleton almost. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. So uh, while we're doing this, you can go on our Facebook page and look at these pictures. It's and follow along. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that's so messed it's up. Owl eagle? I would throw my wallet at it. It looks yeah. <laughs> it that's lo- the harpy done. eagle. So there's a Harpies. the It does look like a Jim Henson thing. The, the, the eagle owl and the harpy owl. Yes. Mm. Um, Crazy. All right, I'll you know, send it to you. This now. is the stuff that kind of fuels our show too, <laughs> though, because we because we were like, you know, they're discovering new species of animals, new tribes of people. Um, not too long, I think, what was it, the 1970s? Maybe may, maybe later than that or earlier than that, they found the uh, Ur- Urang Pendek, and that was a. Uh, so I can real quick. Do I need to Google? I want to look it up. Orang. It's like orangutan, but Orang Pendek. And uh, the, the 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 street name <laughs> for, is the Hobbit people. And it was a, um, uh, not the, but um, actual mainland tribe, uh, I think in the Congo. I might be wrong on some of this, but within the Congo, there was rumors and stories of these tiny, like, goblin people that would steal your babies. And so, like, for so long, people were like, these are made-up stories. These aren't real. Yeah, there you go. Orang Pendek. Yeah. And yeah. Let me see that. Also creepy. And yep. so, Very creepy. And so... That's... The idea was, oh, God, this, this isn't real. This is just an urban, like a, you know, a village myth, not a real thing. And it just persisted over time. And then I think, I want to say in the 70s, crazy. there was some sort of like know. weird happenstance where some dudes just ended up on an island, a small little atoll off the coast of, you know, the Congo. Sumatra. And there you go. Thank you. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and they found a small village. Like, or a small like encampment, not even a village, because there was like nests and stuff, but it was clearly like a little cohabitation of, of species of thing. And it was a lot of these skeletons of these creatures. Oh. And then human baby. Ooh. Like, so they skeletons. were, it was like, it was like, <gasps> stealing the babies. Stealing the babies. And mm-hmm. it was like, you know, it's really not. The dingo stole my baby. Unheard. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so different. Different. Still terrifying. Different but story. Yeah. <laughs> Totally different. That's tragic. Yeah. <laughs> that was, was but yeah. Okay. That is messed up. Those are right. creepy. So similar creatures on, on Wikipedia. Mm. Similar creatures. Bigfoot, skunk ape, yowie, yeah. yeti. Momo. Momo is a Missouri monster. That's the Missouri Momo. monster. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Okay, Yaren, did not know that. I think in China they call him Yaren. Yaren. Yeah. That's on here also. Yeah. Yaren. Yeah. So that's... Not urine, but urine. urine. Oh, good. Y-E-R-E-N. Urine. Put that snakeskin away. Oops. <laughs> Dang, I'm thirsty. So this is an artist's rendition of what that would look like. Yeah. Or an appendix. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it kind of looks like, like a cross between a little Bigfoot and an orangutan. Yeah. It kind of does. Yeah. But they have physical evidence of it. Physical evidence of it. And then the idea that there was presence of, you know, human children around that village. And so they were like, you know what? Well, you know, we can't ever prove this, but this at least adds some, some, I think that's pretty good story. proof though. Like, you, right. I, yeah. I, mean, I that's, agree. Yeah. That's, that's, I love stuff that's like some this. Some sort though. of forensic evidence. I mean, I mean, I think we secretly each have some of our own favorite, like paranormal yeah. or, you know, cryptid or mystery topics to discuss. Do you guys, Pat and JT, do you guys have a, like a favorite one? I love monsters like that. I love, and I, I love like, go, like EVPs and ghost yeah. like evidence videos of 
you know, like the a EVPs, disguise video. I, really, I do like that stuff. I like when uh, you get the EVPs, especially the ones that like you guys have all collected or uh, Prism's collected some that are just fascinating. Um, our friend Bailey had that one that was at... Uh, the oh, hotel crescent is it or the one in no. colorado where the shining oh. was where the shining no. was the stanley hotel stanley, stanley hotel yeah, that's right she got a really good one yeah. unbelievable yeah, yeah. The let EVPs. me let me breathe or let help me breathe, breathe or i can't breathe i can't or breathe, I can't oh. breathe. Yeah. it was terrifying she was sitting on a stage they were on a tour and she was sitting down as either her sister cousin friend i can't remember who, whoever she was there with and they had left the group and they were sitting there just talking amongst themselves but they had their recorders on because they'd been looking for things right and sure. hadn't hadn't come, found anything so this nonsensical conversations going on and all of a sudden you hear they didn't hear it at the time they listened back to what they were recording yeah. and all of a sudden during their conversation somebody behind them says i can't breathe or help me breathe something mm -hmm. like that yeah i'm gonna while we're talking about this See, I'm, just gonna be, I'm gonna be looking Dude, for it on my google it's drive unmistakable. Yeah. It's, it is it's some insane. of those some of those evps though like and she recorded it, that like on a flip phone. Yeah, yeah it, was on her, mean, it, was, it was on her iPhone, like her voice <laughs> recorder. First, her first iPhone or yeah. something. This is from a long time wow. ago. Uh, but yeah, some They're of fascinating. Are, it is. It's just to me to, yeah, well, even it's happened here locally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, some of the places um, in Iowa, they caught some. Uh, Josh Hurd, we just had him on the other day. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Uh, talk about Malvern Manor and, yeah. Creepy dolls. Yeah. And, and, and inanimate objects moving. I mean, that's in, that's crazy. The doll yeah. thing that, yeah. The, and they came and got their doll back. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like, what? Why yeah. would you even want it back? No. And so, and <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Like, your doll now. If you were yeah. able to unload it on somebody, yeah. So yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's your doll Suckers. now. Suckers. Yeah, right? Bury it in the woods, man. I mean, yeah. seriously, I, I, I literally, he had a camera pu um, put on that doll so you could watch it on Patreon. You pay like a buck a month or mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. He had people like me paying a buck a month. <laughs> To watch the doll on the video, and you just sit there and stare at it because you're. But then you come back to it later, and you're like, "That's not where it was." Yeah. But you never saw it move. Right. Mm -hmm. But he just had it on twenty four seven on camera. Mm -hmm. I imagine you can scrub through and try to see it, but I mean, twenty four hours is a long time to. Yeah. Scrub. Yeah. I'm, Sometimes I do that with my cat. Like he'll be sleeping on my bed, and I'll go to work and come back, and he's still in the same <laughs> damn spot. <laughs> dude, like, have dude, you are you alive? <laughs> yeah. Right. Check <laughs> check for breathing. Right. You put your hand on him. He's still warm. Okay. Yeah. He's like, okay. I've, I've done yes. that with my son's toothbrush before. It <laughs> moved in like three days. Yeah. Because it hadn't moved. It hadn't moved. I'm like, yeah, your toothbrush, literally, I've, I've watched it and I've clocked it three days one time. I'm like, and Dude. Pff, dude. <laughs> I know you're not putting it back in the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. Girls like it when you brush your teeth, dude. <laughs> yeah. On a very human level. <laughs> they like it. Yeah. It's the most basic level. You have any you, luck? I'm looking. I'm, yeah. I've, there's a million files that are in an awful file system. You have a, I'm sure you person. have it labeled well. I do. I'm sure. Mm, I'm sensing you know. some sarcasm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll Are find it. I'll text Bailey. Maybe she can send it to us so we can have it in a future one. That'd be great. Well, we That'd got a we got an EVP. We recently, the three of us and some of our friends, went to Grand Island and investigated a uh, movie theater called the Grand Theater that had a lot of activity. And uh, our fearless leader Eddie actually uh, caught a pretty cool EVP. It was in a. It's like Blair Witchy because it was like a crawl space inside of a crawl space in the underbelly of the theater, Ooh. dirt floor. How'd you get mm -hmm. there? We have we. This he almost is, got stuck in the, <laughs> in the hole. So we do like Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> we, I know, right? I got in, but I can't get out. I'm like that kid in the well. Yeah. <laughs> Someone Timmy. send Lassie. Timmy. And, and he's in the well. <laughs> Get Timmy out. <laughs> just leave me. Um, um, we our most recent episode actually. We kind of just we get kind of do a step by step of this, but uh, the quick you know like elevator speech of this was uh, it's this old refurbished theater. Uh, it was built in the 1920s, I believe, late 1920s. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm they, familiar with it. That's gorgeous. Actually, it, it's yes. a beautiful theater. It's a, yeah. And uh, the one of the one of the you know people who volunteer and work there was like, hey this place is haunted. You know, we've had enough stuff happen that we've kind of, would you guys consider doing a hunt here? And we're like, yeah, yeah, dude, come on. Out. For sure. And so we did that. And, you know, you know, this building is old and underneath it, you know, kind of like all the, you know, older architecture of any time, it's built on top of, you know, Something old else. stuff. So, so the, the underbelly of the theater is these old kind of like what they call the catacombs, which really adds another layer I to it. it. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but so back, back in the deep part of the catacombs, they have a brick wall that they cut a hole in to see what was behind it. Sure. And it's just another empty room. And then that room just has a dirt floor. There, there's nothing to it. And then in that was like a, like a, uh, a chimney for lack of a better word, a brick chimney. Mm -hmm. 
And so they had cut a hole in that too to see once again what was in there. Just and it's just cutting holes in everything. Cutting man. holes. Just Where does this hole go? <laughs> there exactly. it goes to another hole. Where does that hole go? The integrity of the building is sacrificed. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> that was a load bearing wall. <laughs> it's like Jenga. holes all over it. They saw just that Shia. All the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Bottom tiles. <laughs> they saw that Shia LaBeouf movie and went crazy. Yeah. Holes. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> but yeah, so so it's like you have to crawl, not crawl. What the the first hole is wide enough that you can crouch and get in. Uh, the second one is not so big and you have to kind of like you'd have to contort yourself to get in there and we decided to not <sighs> do that no ridden. way I'm sorry yeah. Andy was like I'd become Winnie the Pooh yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh bother yeah. right so, oh bother <laughs> um, and so the whole night we're doing an investigation we had small little things happening like little tiny either feelings uh, at one point Pat's battery in his night vision camera went from about almost a 60% charge down to nothing in three minutes Wow. It's completely drained. Yeah. And it's never done that before. Yeah. yeah. And probably never since. Weird. Yeah. Yeah. And then so and then we decided to sit down and just do some kind of vocal exchanges and see what we got. And it wasn't even an EVP. It was like we could hear it. Oh wow. Like audibly. And and the the part that got me the most about that was, you know, and this is a thing you don't capture from recording it was the sound also had direction to it. Like I could tell where it came from. Mm. So it wasn't like it was some ambient sound that came around us. Jeez. I could point, I could point, and it was inside that chimney. <sighs> and so we were saying, basically, do Man. you want us to leave? And we got an audible yes. Oh. It was like a whispered, very breathy. See but, ya. Yeah. I'm out. And that's what they did. Else. They're like, okay, we're yeah. going to leave. Yeah. 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 <laughs> what else you do? You're like, deuces, I'm yeah. out. I, I, I would have <laughs> peed my pants. I mean, yes. seriously, because you could hear hear it we heard it audibly when Eddie, you know, that's the thing with evps you don't hear them yeah. at the time it's yeah. later and then it freaks Ugh. you out because you're like oh my god they look at what they said and you yeah. had no idea yeah where the whether they're standing right next to you right. or if it was off in the distance um but that it was it was, it was facing you it was clear so it wasn't like loud but mm -hmm. it was it was sharp you know what i mean mm -hmm. And it was right, and if I, you know, three feet in front of me, and it was mm. so sharp, I, I expected to see it like a face. That's how that that's how wow. like that sound comes out of a human mouth. It doesn't come out of, and and wow. our camera woman was was filming me, and we both heard it at the same time. And so I looked at her, she looked at me, and we didn't like we didn't do any of that weird bias stuff where you're like, did you hear that? Yes. And I just did you hear anything? And she's like, I heard what I think. I heard an answer to your question. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. And me and Pat were up at base camp, and you remember when Eddie came up yeah. and... Uh, yeah, he, 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 Andy was joking. He, he looked like he'd seen a ghost. He Seriously? was white as a ghost. And, oh, my God. And he, he came upstairs, and he's like, I just need a minute. And he walked away from us. I'm normally so, a pretty chatty, yeah. Yeah. yuck, yuck So you know guy. something's wrong when he's not <laughs> acting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bailey texted the EVP. Oh my oh, God! Yeah, this is oh, great. No, okay, so no we deal. got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm, so I don't know how loud it's gonna be. We might have to. Uh, here we go. There's a weird noise over here. Yeah, I can't figure it out. It's like your ears are ringing, but it's constantly going. Oh my oh, God! Geez. <laughs> Messed up. Can you play that do again? Do it again. Yep. Do it again. Do it again. There's a weird noise over here. Yeah, I can't figure it out. It's like your ears are ringing, but it's constantly going. <laughs> That is that, crazy. I got chills again. Right. Yeah. Isn't that, seriously, I've heard Isn't it probably a hundred times, right? and it is terrifying. It the, sounds like a kid, too. I can't Almost. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, my God. And they had no idea. No clue. Until mm -hmm. way later when they mm -hmm. listened yeah. back. Mm -hmm. It just sounds very intentional. You, I can't. Wow. It's, right, they waited right till the pause. Right, of the that's the other thing. It wasn't like that they were talking to the this 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 thing or asking for anything. It was like they, it was reaching out for help. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I kind of thought it sounded like a kid. Isn't that yeah. one of your hot buttons, Pat? Ghost kids. The ghost kids. It's like yeah, the scariest just, yeah. thing in the world for you. They're terrifying. Yeah, like a ghost ghost kid just like standing. If, well, if I was at my house and I walked up and there's a ghost kid standing there, pfft, heart attack done. <laughs> it would be just too much. I couldn't do it. It would be a ghost kid and a ghost Pat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what's up, dude? I'm on this side now. Thanks. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> I'm in the club. <laughs> <laughs> well, seriously, no. we were talking to, was it the Valeska people? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. they have ghost kids there, don't they? I think so, yeah. Yeah, the several. Axe house. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. like a whole family was killed there. Yeah. 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 Ghost, and they, they can hear the kids. That's what it was because um, I can't say her name right now. That we had, oh, she used to come on our show quite a bit. Um, uh, medium. Uh, Deb Rockman? Yes, thank you. Yes. Um, because she had gone to that house as part of a TV show. Yeah. And she left. Oh. She yeah, it was, was like, it was called uh, Most Haunted Places in America, yeah. I think yes. was the name of the show. Yep. Yeah. 
She, yes. She bolted. She she went in the room and then she walked. She says, I can't do this. And she walked out of the room because you there were instances where people had heard the kids playing or a ball rolling across the floor kind of things. I have a I have an old buddy, uh, Dan, named Dan. He uh, he was crazy enough to go to that Velisca Axe murder house and stay the night by himself. That's so crazy, man. By himself. What is what is this rite of passage? I don't know. I don't yeah. know what he's trying to prove. <laughs> I'm not doing it. No. no. No way. You go there, man, you bring a flashlight and a change of underwear. That's about all you need. <laughs> yeah. Did, what did he come away with? I mean... Did, uh, I think he he kind of like had to go out of the house like for half an hour and then go back in for an hour. He was like back and forth, but I think he said it was during winter and they they don't have heat or electrical or anything in there, so it was really cold. So it's really cold, <laughs> and you know spirits make you colder. Like how are you right. supposed to tell? Seriously, like, yeah. really, always chilled to the bone. But that's true. Now, okay, let me ask you that: Does that make a difference as far as weather in your experiences uh, with with any kind of paranormal activity? If it's super super hot somewhere, or if it's really cold somewhere, um, I do, mean, does it matter? Because like you said. Generally, it shows a drop in temperature when this when you have activity. Yeah, right. So I'm wondering if they're more comfortable, where it's or can they? Where it's colder, right? Is, is, is temperature something that yeah, affects there, them? There are fewer ghost sightings in the summertime than versus the winter. Or are people in the summer just so busy having fun at pool parties that they're not looking <laughs> yeah. for ghosts, right? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. In the winter, you have a lot of time inside, and it's yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Is there like a, a map or anything that you know of that has? Um, an interactive map that maybe show like the the United States of where the most ghost sightings have been versus what the climate you know, like, is. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. thinking That'd be like, interesting. You're are there a lot of here. South Dakota ghosts? Yeah. <laughs> oh, South Dakota. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, South we're gonna Dakota haunt ghosts, you. Yeah. Is, right? it, is it is it the is it the temperature or is it more like the solstices too, where you start getting into like timing of like you know. You know, yeah. Planets. Everything well, lines yeah. up. Right. Oh yeah. You Does know? that make a difference? If, because obviously you've got. Stonehenge, exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, and and some other things that were built specifically for a particular time of year for the sun exactly. to line up, right. like the pyramids. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, there's that one in. Um, I'm going to butcher this. It's in uh, South America. It's uh, it's the um, Machu Picchu. It's it's <laughs> it's the pyramid that it's the it's the Aztec pyramid that that does the actual undulations when the sun oh. hits it, when the sun yeah, 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 hits yeah. just right. I've seen that. It looks like the serpent is actually Tiwanaku. Tiwanaku. There you Thank go. You. I Look pulled that Andy out of my butt. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Never even heard of that ever. <laughs> no, no, Andy's exhausted. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Put that yeah, well, you. back in your butt, please. <laughs> but, but it only works that one day. Right. And then that's it. Then those people who flock to see it, but then when the sun hits a certain sp uh, exact spot, the shadow will start to actually like Ooh, that's traverse cool. down the... It looks like it's flowing like a river almost. That's, that's really cool. cool. It's neat. It's neat. Yeah. Tiwanaku. And there's video of that. You can Bolivia. In Bolivia, oh, in Bolivia. yeah, Tiwanaku. You know, as far as like temperature wow. fluctuations, I, I've heard it go both ways. You know, some people get hot when they, you know, when it's their spirit activity. Some people get cold. More commonly, which we experienced firsthand at the Grand Theater, was electronics malfunctioning. Um, for me personally, when I'm doing my psychic medium readings of connecting with spirits, I have noticed that on rainy days or snowy days when there's precipitation in the air, it does help me tune in a little bit better. Hmm. And I'm not sure if like precipitation Humidity. or moisture is an amplifier of the whatever, the spirit antenna, so to speak. Water. What a yeah. freaking well, water. Well, it goes back it's to you talking water. about the, the dousing, mm -hmm. yeah. the water. Yeah. When there's water, it makes them work. Yeah. Now, okay, I was going to ask you something about that too. Because I remember what there's a TV show and it was about I can't remember the name of it, but it was like several episodes and it was an island and there was supposedly something had been buried on it. And Curse it of Oak find, Island. Curse Thank of, you. Yes. That's his Pat. Pat That's got into that one. I love that show. I couldn't remember the name of it, but they were using that. But the thing they couldn't tell was how deep right, right. you had to dig to find the water. It's only a horizontal location. It's not a vertical. You're right. Not gonna, so you knew there was water there, but you didn't know if it was six inches or wow. six feet. Exactly. Right was the the trouble that was a yeah, great cool. show the, the theory <laughs> show. and it, it's one of those shows too where it's after every season man i thought you were gonna find right? something this year i was getting now i gotta little, wait another year i was getting a little pissed yeah, yeah. I was, popcorn I was farts like, everywhere all, yeah. right. <laughs> all around i know it's seriously but it was enough there was enough meat on the yeah, bone to keep right. it coming yeah, back yeah exactly kept coming back it's oh. good good editing good production yeah yes. yeah you're finding like pottery bits and yeah. cloth and, and pieces of book yeah, like everything but what they wanted. Yeah. I know, right? No, no. Mm. They found a few coins, but yeah, yeah. Nothing it was supposed like to be like a pirate's treasure. Yeah, yeah not yeah, a it was, treasure. It's a great show. Uh. You guys are fun. <laughs> <laughs> to hang out. Yeah, you guys got to come back more often. Well, you know oh, what? Yeah. Honestly, oh, yeah. I think we're gonna. This is gonna be two. This is a part two of a, a of a two part was, series. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So this is great. So our weekend is filled with the uh, paranormal dads. Yeah. Oh, how awesome. fun! Yeah. That'd be good. Very cool. Where can people find your podcast? Everywhere, I'm assuming. And what's it called? 
Yeah, you can find us everywhere. Uh, iTunes, uh, Podbean, Stitcher. Uh, just search for Paranormal Dads. We're on all social media, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that jazz. Uh, paranormaldads at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of us. Nice. And we have a uh, couple things brewing. Uh, we, I, I'm uh, working on editing and creating a documentary of our uh, experience at the Grand Theater. Nice. It's called The Haunting of Grand Theater. And that should be out here uh, hopefully before Halloween. And then we'll... Uh, Head on over to Ashland, hopefully this fall. I'm excited fall. for this. Yeah. I really am. Yeah. I want to know where you guys end up because my folks still live on Highway 6. Can we can we sleep in their house and eat <laughs> breakfast with them and everything? You feed the horses. Feed the horses? <laughs> I might have to feed the cats, too. <laughs> yeah, barn cats. <laughs> I think I could handle that. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Yeah, but I want to know where you guys end up on yeah. uh, along the highway there where it is. Well, yeah. l- let us know. Curious. I mean, if, you, if you're in touch with any locals who have yeah. uh, heard of like where exactly in Ashland these I've things are I've never heard spotted. this before, and it's yeah. just blown my mind that I've never heard about it. My yeah. dad grew up there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, I mean, the... God, he knows everybody. You're right. You know, and I mean, at the time, I haven't lived there since I got out of high school, to be honest. But growing up, you'd think I would have heard about it. Yeah, you think. Oh, that's going to yeah, be great. I'll have to send you the, a, a copy of the, the story. Please do. Yeah. Yeah. Please do. And That'd be great. Even more recently, in like 2005, 2006, there was a UFO sighting that actually made the evening news here in Omaha. So, Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see what we can find yeah. out there and probably make a little documentary about that too. Right, boys? Good old Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks, boys. Appreciate it. See you Thank later. You Thank you. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Pat and JT Podcast. A Parkville Media Production.